Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to The Happenings, where we talk about the happenings in your neck of the woods. All right, LA, you're up. So Cardi B is claiming self-defense after she allegedly attacked an LA security guard. Yes, Cardi is claiming self-defense in an ongoing lawsuit filed by a security guard she allegedly brought with in Los Angeles. And according to the new documents obtained by The Blast, Cardi B has legally responded to the allegations claiming her actions were reasonably necessary to protect herself from the assault. Okay, that sounds a little off. How is this security guard saying you assaulted her and you're saying that you were protecting yourself from an assault? So who hit who? Okay, so earlier it was reported that Cardi was sued by a woman named Imani Illis who was working as a security guard in the Beverly Hills during the confrontation with the rapper back in 2018. And Ellis is claiming that she was attacked while on the job by Cardi B and was violently, unlawfully, intentionally, and suddenly and maliciously striking her about her face and her body, placing her in great danger for her life and physical well-being, causing her to sustain injuries and damage. And so even though Cardi B is saying that she was defending her Self. At the time, the security guard said that Cardi spit on her and used multiple profanities and racial slurs against her, who is an African American. This is getting a little iffy, and it should be noted that neither person has described why in the world Cardi B would be fighting with a random security guard outside a high end location in Beverly Hills. But Cardi B did comment on the case. She said, Why don't you guys? post the part where my doctor's office said that that's not what happened and if i assaulted why she didn't press charges why would i put my hands on someone twice my size by myself while i'm experiencing sharp pains four months pregnant and she stated it in a tweet that was later deleted but now she turns around in a new filing and she's saying that she was involved in the fight but the case should be dismissed based on her conduct which was reasonably necessary for her to self-defense and safety that was justified by a security guard's assault. Mm, that was a little rough to read. Ooh, that's one thing you cannot do is go back and say one thing, then turn around and get yourself and caught saying up. something different. And so with that being said, Cardi's defense team in this case included A few other items like speculative damages saying that she cannot recover any damages alleged because such damages, if any, is too speculative to be recoverable recoverable by law. So if you're wondering what damages she's talking about, in the original lawsuit, the woman claims Cardi B's own security team jumped into the scuffle and she suffered shock and injury to her nervous system. Now she says that she suffers from ongoing physical injuries resulting in permanent disability. Plus she claims Cardi used her celebrity status to get her fired from her security job following the fight. Mm. That's why I tell you sometimes you have got to be more careful. This isn't the first time I've heard about the racial slur allegations against Cardi B or using her celebrity status to get away with certain things and come to think about it this isn't cardi b's first legal issue when it comes to fighting or brawling because remember she had those multiple felony charges on that brawl in new york city strip club and that fight allegedly broke out between cardi b and a female bartender and then the fight included tossed chairs bottles hooker pipes and anything else allegedly i'm just saying and the security guard is also saying that Cardi B's team had video of the incident and it was erased. So it's unclear about the amount but we do know it's over $25,000 and that includes stuff like future medical issues like doctors, physicians, nurses, hospitals, you know the requirements when you have damages and disabilities. Well, we all know how Cardi B is. Even if it is cheaper for her to settle instead of fighting it, she's going to fight it tooth and nail regardless if she has to pay more in order to win, if she wins. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Subscribe to this channel for more updates and give me a thumbs up. Please share if you care and turn on your post notifications so you'll know when the next time the happenings upload. Also, comment on the happenings below and comment what's the happenings in your neck of the woods.